so hi everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem multiply two strings which has been asked in today's problem of the day so we are given two strings s1 and s2 we need to calculate their product so the question is very straightforward what we are gonna do we will be give, given two strings we just need to calculate their product and these two strings can be large also okay and the note is written here is that the numbers can be negative and we are not allowed to use any inbuilt function to convert the string to integers for example c++ has a stoi function which simply converts string to integers so we don't have to use that there can be zeros in the beginning of the numbers cool so for example this string is containing zeros it is nothing but 33 and this is 2 so the output is going to be 33 into 2 which is 66 similarly for 11 when it is multiplied by 23 the output is going to be 253 okay so i hope you have got the question and let's discuss the problem in more detail so let's say our string is 26 and the second string is 12 we will handle the negative cases separately okay so what we need to do we need to multiply 6 with 2 then 2 with 2 okay so 6 to the 12 and 1 carry 2 to the 4 1 5 fine now we can multiply 1 with 6 and 1 with 2 so my answer is going to be nothing but 3 1 2 so before discussing the answer what can be the maximum length of any answer so let's say if we multiply 9 into 9 we will be getting a 81 if you take some other cases as well for example let's say 100 into 100 that is going to be 10,000 right so in any cases you can observe that the length of the answer is not going to be greater than length of both the strings so let's say the length of the string one is n and the length of the other string is m so the answer length cannot be greater than n plus n okay and initially what we can do we can initialize this with zero and this is a character zero not an integer zero okay so fine now what we will be doing we will be iterating to this string we will be iterating to this string so initially what we can do we can run a i loop from n minus 1 till i is greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus okay and each of the character is going to be multiplied with what j so j is going to be starting with m minus 1 j is greater than or equal to 0 and j minus minus cool now what we need to do here we need to multiply the things okay so let's say our product is storing the multiplication so what we can do we can get the 6 since this 6 is a character 6 we need to convert that into an integer so for that what we can do we can take s1 of i minus 0 why this minus 0 because you know let's say the ascii numbers for the integers let's say 0 to 9 is going to be 48 to 7 57 okay so let's say if i want to get this 9 how can i get that i can simply write 57 minus 8 48 which is going to be 9 and what this 48 represents this represents a 0 okay so that is the similar thing we are doing here this is will be multiplied with s2 of j minus 0 okay and let's say while multiplying and then doing this there might be a chance that there is a carry okay so for the current position how will we will get the carry this will be nothing but i plus j plus 1 minus 0 okay now at any index what we will be storing we will be storing nothing but we will be storing the remainder when we will be dividing that by 10 so that is going to be product modulo 10 and again convert to convert it that into a string we will be adding a plus zero cool now the 
question for that is will be stored at a place lesser than this okay so let's say if i am considering this as a i plus j plus 1th position so what this position will be this will be i plus j so answer of i plus j will be storing what this will be storing nothing but product divided by 10 okay and every time the carry needs to be ad added to that place so answer of i plus j plus is equal to product by 10 okay so in this way we will be getting our answer you can try run on this test case for more sake of understanding now how we will handle the negative cases so the negative cases will have a dash at the zeroth index okay so what we can simply do we can simply convert this dash to a zero and we can store that this string was a negative so in our case we have s1 and s2 so this can be negative okay so we will be storing a boolean variable to check out whether that string is a negative or not and whether this string is a negative or not okay and we can simply replace this with zero and on the basis of our booleans we can convert our answer cool i hope you have got the solution so let's see the code in more details so here as you can see n is storing the length of s1 m is storing the length of s2 the answer length cannot be greater than n plus m as i told you okay and initially we have initialized that with a zero now we have taken two booleans basically s1 negative initially it will be false s2 negative initially it will be false now if we encounter a minus sign at the zeroth character we will mark is s1 negative is equal to true and s1 of 0 is equal to 0 similarly if s2 is negative s2 of 0 will be nothing but a negative sign so we will do the similar thing with s2 now this is our loop we will going each index by index and we will be calculating the product so product will be nothing but s1 of i minus 0 plus s2 of j minus 0 and we will be adding up the and we will be adding up the number that was already present on that index okay now we will store that uh, remainder on modulo will be storing that product modulo 10 at that place and we will be carrying forward the carry to the index to the index before that okay now we will be iterating on the string and if i encounter a number which is not a zero means the forward zeros have been cleared up okay so i will be assigning that substring part to my answer and we will simply break out now we will check if both of s1 and s2 are negative so if both of them are negative my answer is going to be positive we can simply return our answer okay else if there might be a case that s1 can be negative or s2 can be a negative in that case what we need to do we will simply reverse our answer we will append a negative sign okay so let's say my answer is minus one two three okay so what we will do here we are will be having the answer as 1 2 3 only but i want a minus 1 2 3 so i will reverse that so this that will become 3 2 1 minus and we can again reverse that so that, that will be minus 1 2 3 so i have done that only and we can return our answer cool else if both of them are not negative means my answer is going to be positive again we can simply return our answer if we didn't get anything okay so we can simply return a zero okay so that is going to be the approach so the time complexity for this is going to be we are simply using two loops okay that will be nothing but maximum n cross m and the space complexity is going to be n plus m only okay so this is going to be the answer for this i hope you have liked this video and if there is any doubt write down in the comments i will be happy to solve it and and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay let's meet in another interesting problem from problem of the day geeks for geeks thanks for watching